Hey y'all, Wild Kyle here. Welcome back to the channel. I'm with my dad right here. This here's Wild Dad. You can call him that if you want to. <laughs> and we're heading to the creek right now. We're going to do some antique and vintage bottle hunting today up here in Georgia. So I'm super excited. I've only ever walked this creek one other time. I did not film a video there, but I found a couple of those really cool Dr. Pepper bottles from the 40s and 50s, which I'll throw up on the screen now. So hopefully we're going to find a few more of those. That would be super exciting and who knows what else. So I'm super excited. We've got a little bit of a drive, not too long. We'll be there soon and hopefully we're going to find some awesome stuff. So stay tuned. So the town that we're headed to is actually founded sometime around the 1860s, 1870s. And when I was in this creek the last time, which was like quite a few months ago, it was mostly kind of like 40s and 50s bottles and stuff like that. But I did find one cool flask that was older that seemed to be at least early 1900s. So hopefully we have the potential for more of that stuff today as well. But either way, it's going to be fun to get out in the creek and find some treasure. All right, everybody, we've made it to the creek. It's literally right there. We're about to go find some bottles and cool stuff. Let's do it. Walking down the creek, you ain't gonna believe it. My dad's freaking out because, look at this, there's literally, there's bottles everywhere. There's bottles everywhere, and we're gonna start picking them up here. All right, here's something, just a green one. What's this right here? Oh, it was a ACL bottle, applied color label, but not what we want. Oh, that's part of Orange Crush my dad just picked up there. This one is a Coke bottle from the 60s, would have had an ACL on it, so not quite what we want. No way, y'all. Check that out, sitting right in the sand. That, my friends, is an embossed bottle. It's JoJo. I've never found one of these before. That is really cool. I believe these guys are probably from the 30s or so. Has it got a town name or something like that on the bottom? Oh, Atlanta, Georgia. Huh. That is such a cool bottle. It's really sweet. We'll get a closer shot of it once I get all that sand out. There she is. Jojo. Jojo. And it's got a cool little pattern up there. Atlanta, Georgia. It's got a 50 on there. This could be a 1950 bottle, I guess. Still really cool. Looks like a nice embossed old soda. I like that look. So very, very cool bottle. Super excited about that. It is a keep looking. What's well, right there? You want to pick it up, Dan? Oh, look at that. Big, nice insulator. Yeah, that's in pretty good shape. No chips. Nice. What kind is it? it says a uh, pet petticoat. Petticoat. And it's got, oh, it's the Heming, Heming Ray patent on May 2nd, 19, 1893. It's not that old, but it's patented that day. That's really cool. That's a very nice insulator. We'll take that. Something broken right there. Oh, weird. Would have been some sort of neat ACL. I don't know. My dad's talking about something over there. What is it? Oh, millipedes all over the wall. <laughs> I got to get a clip of that. Okay, that's kind of creepy. Look at these. They're all over the wall in here. <laughs> oh, they're big. They're everywhere. Oh my gosh, that's disturbing. What are they doing in here? Why? No. That's creepy. Urgh. So echoey in here, too. Woo, 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 woo. This feels gross down here, too. I want to get out of here to the other side. Something tells me there's lots of snakies here. <laughs> so we're gonna be very careful as we walk. Oh, we're getting in a lot of glass right here. Look at that. There's glass everywhere right here. Dad's falling. I'm sinking. Here we go. Oh, oh my God. No. <laughs> I'm sinking like crazy. Okay. Ugh. Okay. Made it right. Some sort of bottle right here. Oh, it's a milk bottle. Oh, wow. It's not embossed though. Dang it. That would have been really cool if it had something on it. It's a complete milk bottle, so that's a good sign. Check out the bank right here. It is just loaded with glass. None of it is super old looking. It's okay though, I'll take some of those Dr. Pepper bottles or something like that today. Still interesting to see. Big old snake just came off the bank 
I went into the water right there. I can't see him. Water's a little dark. We have to be careful walking right there. Where'd you go, buddy? Check it out. Y'all can see the snake now. See him slithering through there? That's the one that came off the bank. Some sort of bottle. Right there. Uh, orange crush, but it's unembossed. You get those embossed and they look pretty cool, but this one doesn't have it. It would have had a painted label right there. Oh, well. See, right there is a little bit more like what you want to see. Yeah, it's gross and like moldy or something right there. But that's part of at least a Atlas mason jar that was embossed. Would have been a kind of cool find. And this little spot is just loaded with junk but modern junk there's the top of a milk bottle over there you see it <laughs> just the top of it though i would love some old milk bottles well nothing of interest back that other way so back through the spooky tunnel of doom loaded with these fellas we go dad's walking around he's doing the safe bet i'm i'm walking through the deep darkness millipedes hundreds of them we're also the other side. As long as we don't get eaten by the millipedes, we will survive, I think. I could just pick this guy up. It says, Red Race. Register. That'll make a cool drinking glass. I believe you cut it right there. I've never heard of Red Race before. That's pretty awesome. Let me know any info y'all got on that in the comments below. That would have been a cool, complete one. I wish it were more clear because I guarantee you there's bottles down there. Well, it's quite deep and I can't see it. It's all silty and stuff. If you look right back this way, I saw a Coke bottle, but I do not believe it's embossed. Yeah, it's one of them 60s Cokes. My dad has shouted and it is scaring me. <laughs> does it mean he got eaten or does it mean he found something cool? Okay, he didn't get eaten. He said, a couple cork bottles here. I think one has embossing. That's messed up. <laughs> So, I'm walking this little berm right here. Hey, they dug this. Weird, is there bottles down there? Okay, anyways, don't get sidetracked. What's, what's oh, dad got? Right oh, shoot. Cork bottle with embossing, he says. Okay. Uh, I gotta find a way around, guys. Oh my god. Holy moly. Uh, bugs flying in my mouth. Whoa, look. There's a glass up here. What's going on? What you got? Cork bottle with embossing. Cork bottle with embossing, he says. Whew. This thing is steep. Whoa! Whoa! Where's you the? See that one with the embossing? Oh my gosh! Look at that! Look at that, guys! What is it gonna say? Oh, sweet Groves Tasteless Chill Tonic. That's awesome. That's a very nice one. Oh, yeah, there's another cork bottle right there. Nothing on. Nothing on it. What was that other bottle? Was that a Dr Pepper bottle? Man, this one is cool. Groves, I found a few of those. Those are really cool bottles. That's a nice old guy from the mid to late 20s or 30s. All right, so we got really cool bottles right there. Hey, there's something sticking up under there. Don't bite me, snakes. Oh, it's broken. Would have been some sort of ACL. Pretty cool. Oh, this one's got a little bit of aqua color to it. That is awesome. Well, most of the ones I found have been clear. So that is a very, very nice bottle right there, and it's in great shape. He's been looking for a while. <laughs> yeah, he finally found one. He's been looking. That's awesome, man. Sweet. So we're going to have to walk up this little edge and get to shallower spots because it's extremely deep in some of these holes and we can't see the bottom. There's probably snakes. <laughs> so we're walking up this edge and we're going to walk down and find more little shallow areas where stuff's caught up. Sorry if I'm sniffling, y'all. My nose running from the ooh, ooh. allergies. And I'm trying to get down here without really hurt myself. <sighs> got it. Oh my god. <laughs> Dad just picked up part of a Dr. Pepper right there. That'll make a good drinking glass. We can hold on to that one. That's awesome. We need to find a complete one of those. Those are just awesome. There's something hiding right here. We're gonna find out what that is. It's a cork top. There we go. Measurement bottle. The measurements on the side. Those are pretty cool, but we want one with some, some words on it. Look at the rocks right here, everybody. I mean, this is just like a perfect area to catch bottles and stuff in. I see one right there. I don't believe it's old. Yeah, it's a beer bottle. It's not very old right there. Set that to the side. Don't destroy me, Snickies. Ugh. 
a broken something with nothing on it. And then where's that other one? And another very modern beer bottle. That one looks like a cork bottle. It was a cork bottle with nothing embossed on it, but that's definitely older right there. That's a good sign. I tell you what, we've really gotten ourselves into a jungle. I said he noticed a little, that looks like a cork bottle, yeah. It is a cork bottle. I don't know what would have gone in it. Kind of cool. There's something right there. Broken. Kind of interesting uh, shape on there, though. Pretty cool. Whoa. <laughs> this is super treacherous through here, everybody. It turned into the swamp of doom. It's like really annoying to look down right now because my dang allergies are just destroying my face. So every time I look down, it's just like drip, drip, drip. Look at this, y'all. We made it all the way to this other huge creek that this smaller one runs into. That water is really dark and it looks super swampy. Probably not gonna be much in the way of bottles there. Sure there is bottles, but we wouldn't be able to see them. So now we're gonna have to walk back upstream the little creek because we silted it up on the way down. It'll be a lot clearer now, so. That's exciting, but we gotta gaze upon this really beautiful little area for a moment. It is gorgeous. Oh man. Here we go. That'll make a cool drinking glass though. Dr. Pepper, any town name? No town name on the bottom. Not bad though. Is there another one right here? I think there's Take another there. bottle right there. There's a jar, it looks like a jar. See, oh yeah, it is a jar. We'll pour it out anyways. That might, that might be glass right there. It's a jar. Some kind of cool going on in the bank right here, guys. Look at this. There. That's a little top of a of a cork bottle sticking out of the bank. And right there's some older blue glass. And over here, look at this. Something that was embossed right there. And it's sticking out of the bank. So this little creek seems like it was dug. I wonder if they dug stuff out of the creek and it got dumped up here. See something else over there. I'm gonna have to walk. Dad said he's got gl little glass right there. I can't talk glass. Might have to walk up there for two seconds. There's some bricks right there. It looks like even. Interesting. <laughs> and now we try to walk the bank. <laughs> oh yeah, look at there's little pieces of ceramic. Oh God. Wish me luck, everybody. If you see the camera, come falling. That means I didn't survive. <laughs> yeah, look how far down that is. You would not want to fall. Okay, we're in the woods. Is there, whoa, a junk pile. Looks like someone dug it. Someone been digging? This might be the place to look, he says. Oh, it's all corks, whoa. What is that? Embossed? No. Doesn't say anything, but it's a, probably a beer bottle, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. We need to check that right there. That's interesting. Someone dug right here. It looks like to me, I would say. This has got to be someone's. Uh, someone dug a hole right there. It looks like. This is really interesting. Cork bottles up here. Look at purple glass right there. A little bit. See that color? Seems like people have dug up here. I don't know how much they've dug up here. Oh yeah, people have definitely dug here before. It's, it's really tough to tell from the camera, I'm sure, but it's a little low spot right here and cut roots and stuff like that. So somebody definitely dug here. I wonder what they found. Anybody needs some bones? Oh, is that a destroyed insulator? Look at that. It's an insulator that got all messed up. Oh, there's the skull. Deer skull. Whoa. <laughs> I'm gonna leave it. It's cool. I'll leave it there. Part of a broken medicine bottle. And look at that part of old soda bottle from Jacksonville, Florida. Could have been a straight side Coke or something right there. That's pretty cool. All right. Dad said, Dad said he saw a bottle coming out of the bank. So I'm running down. He's trying to kill me. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Whoa, look at that. He pulled out of the bank. That's old. That is cool. There's two of them. There's two quarks right there. Ugh. Okay. There's What's going on? Right there. Whoa. This one looks like it's cracked. 
Gotta be real careful with it. Two cork bottles coming out of the bank here. Look at that. Oh, one more over there too. Whoa, 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 whoa. Awesome. Odd OD oh, something OD Chemco New York. Whoa. Okay, that's really cool, man. That's wash it off while you get wash that off. I'll get this one out. One. Oh, it's Bro. definitely busted. You can dig. There's nothing on it, so. You can dig that one out over there. Nothing on it, so that's okay. Oh yeah. Oh, there's a little blue bottle up there too. Okay, there's nothing in that. This is old stuff though. This is what we want. This is the older stuff. Hold on, I gotta set some stuff down. All right, we got this bottle. Try this. Oh, it seems pretty loose. Is Ooh. there gonna be embossing on it? Nothing embossed on it. But that's an old, old bottle. Look at that top. That Blown in a mold. That's probably beer or whiskey or wine or probably whiskey. You're gonna set that down over there. There's a little blue bottle. What's that little guy? Oh, this one's melted. It's a little blue cork top with nothing on it. It's pretty cool. <laughs> kind of just a neat little bottle. Okay, let's keep scratching around here a minute. What you got? Oh, oh, look at that old. That's old right there. Okay, okay, we need to mess around right here a little more. There's something right here, but it's behind a root. Is that that white bottle? No, so there's a little white jar here, but there's something else right there. I can't tell what it is. Looks like it could be old soda bottle, but we got to get that root out of the way. I think it's I think it's broken because it feels really small. Oh, oh, weird! Look at that. Nothing embossed on it, but that's like a shoe polish bottle or something like that. That's pretty cool. Oh, it's got a big weird break in it right there. Oh, Interesting. Oh, Dad's got another bottle over there. Okay. Yeah, Ugh. This is chaos. I love it. Yeah, you can feel it. Oh yeah, there's another bottle right there. I need. Okay, that's gonna take some work. Oh, there goes, it's loose. Oh yeah, it's a slick medicine bottle. But it's very old. Very, very old. Set that over there. Okay. Whoa, look at that top that fell out. Whoa! Two... Oh, I had the metal top. No, it's no it didn't. That's a root. <laughs> I thought it had a metal top. No, these lips are old though. These lips are very old. We gotta keep poking around right here. Well, today went from being not a lot of old stuff to a lot of old stuff, my friends. Old, beautiful, cool, embossed, blown in mold bottles. Look at these tops. Okay, so we're scratching around a little bit on this bank. Dad's walking over yonder now. We're just gonna spend some time here because I think it's a good idea. <laughs> okay, this one that looks like a medicine bottle is loose. Oh my gosh, it's embossed. What is it? Black, Blackstone MFG Company, Newark, New Jersey. That is so cool. I gotta show Dad that. Look at that. Got some oh, yeah. That's cool, isn't it? it says wow. Blackstone Manufacturing Company, Newark, New Jersey. Oh, that's such a cool bottle. Okay, I gotta go get that other one out now. Okay, let's see if we can get this one out now. Oh, it is. <laughs> Weird sauce bottle. Neato. Okay, I'd be scratching with this rake here. You see those right there? You see them? I see two bottles. I'm going to reach up there and try and grab them. Might not be able to do it while holding the camera because I am very high up right now. <laughs> this stuff is way up there. Okay, so I'm going to reach up there and we're going to see what we got. Okay, I might be able to do this. Oh, a little boy. Oh my goodness, it's in Boston. It's a little and so cool. <gasps> oh, what? I can't read it. Hold on. Hicks Capudine for headaches. Okay, that's pretty cool. It's so tiny. Weird, this stuff right here isn't as old as the stuff right over there. Very interesting. This is machine made. The stuff over there was all blown in a mold. Well, uh, wait, oh, this one's blown in a mold. I lied. I'm sorry. That is so cool. Blown in a mold, by the way, is when the seam does not go all the way to the top. And when the seam goes all the way to the top and over the lip, it is machine made. That is so dang cool. Okay, we got to get that other one out. 
Can I? Can I reach it? Oh, I recognize that shape anywhere. ER Durky. But it doesn't have the ER Durky embossing on it, interestingly enough. And that's a machine made screw top bottle. What you got, Daddy O? Oh, look at that. Oh, weird. <laughs> Does it have anything on it? Oh, it does. Pompeian massage cream. I've seen these before. Oh, man. <laughs> you seen them? Yeah, I found one. This one's cracked. Going that one's on. cracked a little bit. That's cool though. That's a cool bottle. Pompeian massage cream. Anybody need some of that? I'm sure it was nice. Bottle just fell out right here where Dad was scratching, and I already know what it is. Oh, it's a Listerine bottle. It's a machine-made one. Those are always cool to find though, because they're embossed, so we will definitely take that. That is awesome. All right, y'all, we actually got to get going out of the creek. Dad has some work back at the house that he's got to start getting done and all that good stuff. Today was awesome. It turned out to be awesome. Like, <laughs> I feel like all my bottle videos start out, eh, by the end of it, it's like you just hone in on some crazy stuff. So we ended up finding some really awesome older stuff in embossed bottles. It turned out to be an absolutely incredible day. So I'm definitely gonna get all this stuff laid out on the table back at dad's place here in a little bit so we can take a nice closer look at it. Let's do it. That means I'm going back to the creek to hunt for some more bottles because I can't help myself. I gotta do it while I'm here in Georgia. So let's go back to the creek and see what else we can pull out of that bank, my friends. The obsession is real. I have returned. I have filled my body with sustenance, chicken tenders. Now it's time to see what else we can find everybody. I'm gonna get packed up and get back down there. <clears throat> okay, I got it loose. It looks complete. Oh, it's blue. Please tell me it's embossed. Oh, it is embossed. Whoa, what? Oh. Davis. Painkiller. It's got a city on it. Vegetable. <laughs> That's the weirdest thing ever. But had a paper label right there. Painkiller Davis. Vegetable. <laughs> that is a beautiful, beautiful bottle. That's blown in a mold too. I like that Davis right there. That's pretty cool looking. Man, that's a gorgeous little bottle. There's a little fella that fell out of the side while I was a scratch latching. Oh, it's just got the measurements on it. But still a cool old bottle I would accept and alas it was one of these sauce bottles <laughs> nothing I care for too much but it's pretty kind of a cool design on this one he's getting a little dark up there now check out this heartbreaker right here that corner is busted off Chamberlain's cough remedy from Des Moines, Iowa and it has that big break there that's sad because that's a really really cool bottle man that hurts a little bit that's all right look at this little funky shaped bottle whoa Wellica we like Wellica we like what the heck was that that would be some sort of foodie sauce jar. i got to stick this stick in it so it'll like get the dirt out. Ah, whatever, I'll do it later. Wellica. Wellica. That is so weird. Y'all know what that is? Let me know in the comments. What is this thing? Is it machine made? Looks to be machine made. Very interesting bottle. Pretty cool. Ah, yellow fly. Pretty cool that it's embossed. Not a bad little find. Uh, I don't know if y'all can tell. I am in desperate need of a shower and food. I found a lot of cool bottles today. I am happy. I am hot. I am dirty. <laughs> so, okay, now, gonna get out of the creek, gonna go back to Dad's, gonna get everything all set up in a beautiful plethora of magical findings. We're gonna look at it closer. So stay tuned. I'll do that as soon as I get back. Well, I'll tell y'all what. We just fried some fish, had a delicious fish fry, and had an incredible, incredible day out hunting bottles. I did not expect it to be that good, but it turned out to be sweet. So the very first thing we found was this 
very cool insulator right there very very nice and we got some of these Dr. Pepper bottles right there that'll make some good drinking glasses a little uh, shoe polish bottle or something right there kind of pretty one this is a really cool Jojo soda bottle right there I like that bottle a lot that one's very cool that one's from the 50s it's got a 50 on the bottom Atlanta Georgia so probably 1950 right on the dot of course you get a Listerine bottle find a lot of those this thing I've never seen we it's really tough to see because the dirt we like a really weird I've never seen a bottle like that so that was pretty cool and we got this Pompeian massage cream bottle right there and for some of the really cool stuff right here man dad got super lucky with this Groves tasteless chill tonic oh man it's so dirty in there like I should have cleaned these up that Groves tasteless chill tonic is just a killer killer bottle this one really makes me sad that is busted it says Chamberlain's cough remedy and it's busted right there looks like it's got a big crack through it right there too but I really like the top on there really cool bottle blue color and it's sadly just destroyed but that's okay this one's pretty cool Blackstone manufacturing company Newark New Jersey not sure what was in there but I think a lot of bottles that looked like this would have like some sort of seasoning and stuff in it I don't know powder like I've seen stuff like that before I'm not sure if those are like that uh, this one is Hicks Capadine for headaches right there I don't know if you can see Hicks Capadine for headaches that's a really cool little bottle. That one's blown in a mold, too, so that's an oldie. It's an oldie right there. A few of these are blown in a mold. Got this Davis Vegetable Painkiller. This is vegetable on that side and painkiller on that side. Would have had some sort of paper label there and probably on the back as well. This one's a beautiful blown in a mold, old, nice aqua blue bottle, so very happy with that. One of my favorites from today is this one, OD Chemical Company, New York. I just like the shape. And the color of that one. Really cool top on it. That is just a super awesome bottle. So guys, that was an incredible day. If you enjoyed the video, give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you have not already. Let us know in the comments if you want us to come back here and try some more bottle hunting at this site. I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching, my friends.